All right. Street Fighter Six. Six. The sixth game. Oh. Oh no. Um. Uh, yeah. Well. Uh. Welcome to this uh, opinionated, heavily opinionated, and uh, <laughs> interesting discussion we're about to have. We're um. We all have thoughts we'd like to share on this game, being uh, fans of the series. So, uh, we're gonna be rolling through the post that was posted on June second on the Capcom website, just that introduces the game. So, uh, oh well, I'm Rambo. Uh, I like fighting games. Um, who are you guys? <laughs> so my name is Daniel, and uh, to all the listeners at home. I want you guys to take everything that I say with a gr- with a tablespoon of salt. <laughs> mm. I know nothing. Mm. <laughs> I'm just here for the ride. Nice. And uh, I'm Lewis. Mm. I'm very, very casual. I'm just here for the hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Street Fighter Six. Okay. Uh, all right. So let us begin. All right. We have, uh, so Street Fighter 6 officially hits the scene in 2023. PS5, PS4, Xbox Series, PC with explosive style. A diverse roster of characters and a new system built for creativity. Street Fighter 6 will redefine the genre and welcome players from all backgrounds. Beginning its journey in 1987, the Street Fighter series has attracted a wide spectrum of fans, including pro players. Artists, collectors, cosplayers, and more. Every person has a different reason for playing Street Fighter. And in Street Fighter 6, there's something for everyone. The game will feature modes from previous titles, including arcade mode, online matches, uh, training mode, local versus battles, and more. All contained within Street Fighter 6's fighting ground game mode. We're also bringing two brand new modes called World Tour and Battle Hub to expand upon Street Fighter 6's unbeatable gaming experience. Um, thoughts, Lewis. What is what's? There's a lot. There's a lot. So one thing I seen from the latest news was that um, the little story mode type thing where you make your own fighter. Hmm. Yeah. So that's kind of interesting. Cause that that just kind of reminds me of Mo- Mortal Kombat's conquest mode, oh. without like the cinematics or nothing. You just run around, uh-huh. make your own character. Yeah, like... that, that, that's what I thought. That's what I, it looked like to me too. It looked like uh when you were walking around in the crypt, I guess. And I didn't play the most recent Mortal Kombat, but I do remember they had a mode where it, it almost looked like a little adventure when you uh, where you unlock stuff and and. And things like that so mm. um if i recall uh, this isn't the first time that that Capcom has uh tried like a a story mode or oh, not a story mode but more like an adventure rpg I, I don't know if you guys remember playing um street fighter alpha 3 max mm. um i don't know if you guys ever tried playing the world world tour mode I but think. in that one, um, you pick your fighter, and uh, you level up your fighter. You can pick any character on the roster, but um, you can level it up, uh, level your character up, and things like that. It, to me, this is like very reminiscent of of that, and they're just going. I, I have a feeling that um, uh, Capcom is going to try to go uh, a little harder on that on that end. Hmm. When it comes to story mode and and that adventure mode, whatever yeah. form it's gonna take. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just hope that whatever uh, whatever they end up doing, <laughs> if they can progress to the story mode offline <laughs> for for us with uh, uh, connection problems, you know, we might, we might be running off of that yeah. personal hotspot. It'd be nice I mean, to have the. I I think I think those uh, those who want to play this game offline. I have a strong feeling that Capcom is not going to do some <laughs> weird thing where where it's only going to be uh, online exclusively. Yeah. Um, to me, like, this is just for the continuing Capcom's, like, rise from 
and lack for the better term, shithole that they were in oh, mm-hmm. a few years ago with the games that they were pulling out. So, mm-hmm. it's, uh, especially the uh, Street Fighter Cross Tech and the uh, yeah, it's like <laughs> you know, it, it seems that they're on a better on better track. Uh, it, the same producers that were, uh, from my knowledge, oh. uh, I. Uh, I don't know his, uh, his, the name at the top of my head, but uh, mm-hmm. the producer for Street Fighter Four and the one I guess he started with Street Fighter Five, wow. uh, they're he's not responsible for this anymore, and it, um, I I feel like their Street Fighter now is on a better track of actually you know going back to that golden era. Oh, we're trying to. Going, trying to go back to that golden era with its uh, old school um, the fighters, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I, I I don't think Capcom is gonna drop the ball. I, I hope so. I, I don't think they're gonna drop the ball on this one. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, especially after Street Fighter Five. I mean, that that shit was rocky. Mm-hmm. And the uh, yeah, the start of Street Fighter Five was very rocky. It mm-hmm. was it, it was a. Uh, it's a completely different game now, and mm-hmm. me, um, I played Street Fighter Five at the very beginning when it came out. Mm-hmm. I, it didn't gravitate towards me. I didn't pick it up mm-hmm. as much as you know other fighting games that made by Capcom. But um, yeah. I played the late the latest updates. It there's some they it's completely changed. It's not the same game anymore. Oh. Uh, Ever since uh, they changed producers, um, I feel like uh, it's a whole new game, and I, I would hope that they would continue that with uh, Street Fighter VI. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, going back to uh, what we just read a little bit or earlier, uh, just based on how, because uh, from my knowledge, you guys have seen the trailers, you guys have seen. Uh, some of the con- uh, some of the content that's been coming out. Uh, this quote uh, stuck out to me. Uh, Beginning its journey back in 1987, the Street Fighter series has attracted a wide spectrum of fans, including pro players, artists, collectors, and cosplayers, and more. Every person has a different reason for playing Street Fighter, and in Street Fighter Six, there's something for everyone. Based on what you guys have seen. Uh huh. Who is this? What is this game? Which group of people is this game uh, catering to? Uh, from how you guys feel, like, is it for the professional players or is it for the casual audience? So, my input on that, I think they're taking a page out of the Guilty Gear Strive, and they're making it simple so that someone who's brand new to the franchise can just hop in they can do some stuff and they'll have fun yeah. and then uh, on the reverse uh, you know, spectrum you can have pro players come in you know they're basically learning a new system from ground up like every Street Fighter game there's always a new system but there's something for pros something for newcomers and I think Guilty Gear really um, kind of paved the way for online uh, you know fighting games when it came to everyone being locked up having online attorneys and all that Mm -hmm. and uh, I think Street Fighter kind of took a page from that book and they're making it accessible to all uh, you know entry level or pro level players Mm -hmm. how how about you Rambo since I mean uh, speaking at least from my end you have a lot more hours into the fighting game scene than I have put in. Hmm. Um, I, I don't know if you would call yourself like uh, uh, like a tournament player, but how do you feel? Uh, oh, what is this game catering towards to? Um, well, I mean, it's uh, they're, it looks like they're trying to cater for everyone. I mean, you know, there's something for everyone. It says right. Yeah. They're they're trying to yeah. you know. I guess I guess my reason. Well, right now to um, to get in on it, well, off the top of my head, I just want that that story to be offline. <laughs> yeah, but uh, 
Um, yeah, I'm excited about the the you know parries being like a, still a thing. So yeah, that's definitely a draw for me for sure. Um, all right. I, I like at least from from what I've seen, I feel that with Street Fighter Six, they're they're uh. Like you guys have both said, it's clear that they're trying to cater to the casual audience and the, and the tournament players and um, the hardcore players. And uh -huh. it's, it, of course, that story mode is is very evident of that. You know, yeah. <laughs> they're they're trying to give you guys a reason to to play this game yeah. by yourself. And if you guys remember, Street Fighter Five at launch did not have. An arcade mode they had survival but they didn't have an arcade mode mm -hmm. uh i don't remember there being a story mode right off the bat i can't remember no it wasn't there but was not. yeah it feels like they're carrying to both ends and even even when it comes down to the mechanics at least from what i've seen um and we might delve deeper into this later on but uh -huh. um just even how the mechanics are when it comes to, uh, for example, the control schemes. And there yeah. is now uh, normal classic controls where you have, for example, all three punches or all three kicks uh -huh. and so forth. But now they have a mode that, that reminded me a lot of Ultimate Mar uh, Marvel's Catcom 3 and uh, mm. with there being low, medium, and heavy attacks. Oh, that's right. And and they're making this accessible uh, for for everyone. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, I, I mean, at least from the hardcore players, and um, me being the uh, growing up with these games, you know, um, I, I I dislike having you know a, a simple flight control scheme. But at the yeah. end of the day. Uh, your the hardcore players aren't aren't going to move units. The and Capcom is in this for for the money, mm -hmm. and and you're going to need that casual audience, and mm. that's what's going to move this game forward. You know, having both these groups at a like at a balance and and having everybody happy, uh, and. Uh, Hopefully, if the if the control scheme if the control scheme works, God only knows how it actually plays. But mm. um, hopefully, this encourages a lot more people to get into Street Fighter Six, mm. or even get into fighters in general. That way, the community can actually, you know, get bigger. Mm. Yes, that would be nice. It would be nice to have more, uh, <laughs> more people, more people yeah. in. All right, let us. Uh, well, oh, go ahead, dude. Yeah. So one thing that I really noticed right off the bat from the latest trailer, hmm. and I really liked was the vibrancy of colors. I think uh, yes, oh, yeah. That was, it was very stylized. It, it was really nice, especially. It almost seemed like there was some sort of uh, specials or something uh, yeah. that you know you can link into combos or something hmm. and, and there's just like you know watercolor effects of color and each you know character has their own type of theme with the younger characters having more like a hip-hop yeah you know Ooh. type theme compared to ryu's like you know traditional japanese like water type uh you know effects yeah. uh, it, it, it reminds me a lot of like street fighter 4 when it first came out that mm. art style but it's more yeah. you know vibrant more uh urban and yeah. I, I think that i really i mean, i think it's gonna work out pretty well yeah yeah um i mean uh, this uh the game the game looks very colorful it looks very stylized and uh, i mean if you want rambo uh it, that that kind of goes into the next little paragraph we have here in the in the post yeah uh, since we're now we're getting into how the game looks if you want to read that little uh the expert uh the excerpt or oh yes they have for 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so modern graphics, right? With the coat of graffiti, we are happy to announce that Street Fighter Six is being developed on Capcom's own RE engine, previously used to create Resident Evil Village, Devil May Cry 5, and Monster Hunter Rise. The RE engine enables the development team to bring to life fine details like individual muscles tensing up, cinematic super arts, and special stage effects like cherry blossom petals twirling around with each character's movement. All in an effort to enhance the gameplay experience like never before. Pair these enhancements with the splashes of paint and street aesthetics, and you get the distinct art style of Street Fighter VI. Yeah. And so, uh, it, clearly, this game is going for like a distinct theme or, or style. Um, can you guys recall what kind of because Street Fighter 6 looks like it's going like how Lewis said it's going for that urban uh, theme like mm -hmm. you know graffiti uh, in the streets and things like that mm -hmm. do you guys remember the style or the theme for either Street Fighter 4 or 5 since these are the last two ones that uh, came out do you guys remember the like what they were going for if you guys can recall yeah, well, Street Fighter Four, that one was very um, like blotches, like watercolor effects and all that. I remember. Um, and Street Fighter Five was almost like a watered down version of that. Yeah. But I, I do remember Street Fighter Four having something similar, but it was more traditional, more like mm -hmm. blotchy blacks and grays and all that. Yeah. How, how about you, Rambo? Uh, I would say it just had a well for to me. I, thinking about it, it had a more like a, like a tune type of feel with their you know their their models and just how um I don't know. I just think tune. I just think like 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 tune like toony kind of. And then five, it was also toony to me, but like. Uh, just a different type of toony. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I feel that um, the, the, at least Street Fighter 6 really calls back to um, Street Fighter 3, The Third Strike hmm. um, with its hip-hop uh, kind of like urban, urban style. Um, I, I think it's nice to see that they're because to me, four and five, um, I remember the artwork for four. I remember the style that they were going for, but I couldn't. I don't remember if it had a particular um, theme to it. If you can, uh, if you could call it, I felt like Street Fighter Five was very into that uh, tournament scene where you. It's almost they. At least when I played it, I, I actually loaded up uh, Street Fighter Five last night, mm -hmm. and I played it, and I got into like a training match, mm -hmm. and it was very like, oh, this is a, a, a spectacle. This is like a, a pay per view match with the lights, and you know when yeah. the characters load up, when it says you know Ryu versus Ken or whatever, mm -hmm. you know the spotlights on them and things like that. Mm -hmm. I, I I felt like they were going for that and. And uh, Street Fighter Six really reminds me of Third Strike, and it's nice, at least since I, I can't get a clear uh, uh, view of whatever theme that we're going for in the last two installments. Mm -hmm. uh, because it, at least in Street Fighter Two, you know, Street Fighter Two was fucking for all intents and purposes, it was it's it, the first of you know this whole street. Uh, fighting game uh, genre uh -huh. and uh, the alpha series the alpha series to me stuck out to me as almost like a comic book in a sense oh. Th this is this might be because the alpha characters were used in the versus series so mm -hmm. it, it always associated like a comic book when it came to those characters so it's just nice to see that they're 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 going hard on a particular genre, uh -huh. and there, and because of the RE engine, it looks very, very good. Mm. 
Yeah, because the, uh, the RE engine has been able to do some extraordinary things. I don't know how many of these games have you guys played, but... Uh, like, for example, Monster Hunter Rise, I am surprised it runs <laughs> on the <laughs> Switch at all. <laughs> it, for, <laughs> for what it is, I'm, I'm surprised it's even running. But there's something about this engine where they're able to make this shit work, and... I'm glad that they're using the RE engine for this Street Fighter. Uh, that's yeah, I mean, the one thing I wanted. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it looks really good. I mean, I played like two hours of Resident Evil 2 Remake. Hmm. Oh, and yeah. I, <laughs> that was enough for me to say, like, nope, this shit is too scary. <laughs> yeah, and they very, they did go for a different... Because uh, Resident Evil 2 is... Uh, sorry to get off No, nah, go ahead, man. Off it, but uh, Resident Evil 2 is very uh, hokey in a way you know the way that the characters talk to each other that i mean it's limited of its time but it was very hokey you know things are sometimes very <laughs> weird looking in that game uh, and resident evil 2 with the re engine just it, they went hard on just the atmosphere and just making you scared or just nervous about what's on the other other corner and, and you know, uh, walking through hallways and all that yeah and uh, it's all because of the R re engine you know, and and with that re engine they don't have to pay a lot of um you know uh royalties to unreal engine or none of those companies that's yeah. a lot more that's a smarter business decision for capcom exactly Yes, exactly, and uh, I I might be wrong, but this it seems like Capcom is doing this game in house, and I am <laughs> glad about that. I uh, they could have easily handed this game off to a to a different uh, uh, publisher or, or you know, and th this game could have been completely different. But thankfully, it's I, I think it's in house. Hmm. Nice. Let us let us hope for this house. Let us. It's, it's looking. It look. It looks good. It looks good. Uh, all right. Let's uh meander over to these characters. Uh, I'm gonna read through. Um, I'll just go by character, and then we'll just talk about what we see. Uh, a diverse roster of characters. Street Fighter Six. Would it be Street Fighter without its iconic roster of characters? Returning to the fight are the legendary Ryu. Chen Li and Luke, who have undergone slick new character designs, dripping in style. The first new face to join the Street Fighter VI roster of World Warriors is Jamie, a breakdancer with a unique move set featuring his key unleashing dream. Ryu continues his training on his endless quest to find true strength, well mannered and sincere. He travels the globe in search of worthy opponents, having overcome the Satsui no Hado. He now yearns for something greater. Ryu has new moves to reflect his growth over the years. He uses Hashogeki to concentrate his key in his palms and unleashes it a short distance forward. It's useful as a follow-up after block strings and combos. Hmm. Uh, during Denjin Charge, Ryu envelops his fist with the power of nothingness, enhancing special moves such as Hadouken and Hashogeki. Ryu is vulnerable while performing this move, so careful timing is critical. Thoughts on okay. Ryu? What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, so uh, I got I just gotta point this out, just because uh, I, Lewis wasn't present when I said this. <laughs> but <laughs> first, he looks like I'm look. I feel like I'm looking at this at least in this picture, uh, just because of his face. I'm. I feel like I'm looking at someone from Zoolander. Like <laughs> he looks like a model to me. And <laughs> and second. I don't know how familiar you guys are with the story. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't even think anybody is because the story is so convoluted and so broken apart. But you, you guys see this this red coat thing that that Ryu has? Yeah. Um, people, people were talking about how they think that. Because at the end of Street Fighter 3, and that one's the latest in, or in chronological or order in story, 
That's the way it is one. Street Fighter 3. Uh -huh. First strike. At the end of that game, he he trades with Orem, who I, I, I'm not too familiar again, but uh, they make it seem like Oro is this very powerful character. Mm -hmm. And this red coat thing that he has just reminds me of Oro. Like, I, I assume this is after his training, and now because of that training, he wears this red sash thing. Uh -huh. It might even be the same thing that Oro wore around him. He might be dead for all we know. But <laughs> <laughs> just a little tidbit that just stuck out to me when I when I saw this design. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the first teaser when they just show Luke and uh, Ryu. Yeah. The, the first thing I noticed about Ryu was the beard. He looked a little more seasoned. Yeah. And, and obviously they showed his atrocious feet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but at first I was in, They they kind of give you the impression that he was gonna be like a Chad. Cause he was like really bulked up. Yeah. He looked like a Chad. But uh, on this new teaser, I'm getting uh, yeah, like he he's experienced a lot more. Kind of reminds me of their their trainer. I forgot his name. He was in Street Fighter Four. Uh, Goken. Yeah, Goken. It kind of reminds me of that, yeah. where it's kind of off shouldered. Um, but yeah, he, he, he look, definitely looks different. It looks like he's going more towards where the, where he eventually will be at third strike. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm not even sure if this game, uh, uh, where in the in the timeline this game takes place. It could be before or after, but, oh, well, that's, uh, we won't get the confirmation until we, uh, we get our hands on the game, maybe, hmm. I wanna. I'm inclined to say. I wanna say. About his design, Rambo. Um, yeah. Well, like Lewis, I thought of. I thought of Goken first because of the, the 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 sash thing. Um, and back to like the, where this game falls on the timeline. Um, I mean, he was kind of, he was using like his standard like like white white costume and, and third strike i mean and now he has like this right so and and he's got a beard like i, I wanna i want i'm inclined to say um yeah I, this is and, and i'm hoping this is going to be after third strike um hopefully uh they can kind of sort of release some sort of you know lore video about what really happened in third strike like canon wise and then kind of just like connect that to the beginning of this story yeah, i remember third strike well, Street Fighter 3 in general, because we have um, in, uh, Second Impact or, you know, the new generation, Second Impact and Third Strike. Oh. Um, yeah, like, I, I do remember, I, I, I even think that, um, I'm not even sure if I'm right about this, but I think what's canon is Street Fighter 3 Second Impact. Uh -huh. At least the events in that one are canon. I don't know what's the deal with Third Strike now, but oh, interesting. Uh, that that was just something that just you know was floating around in my head right now. That uh, I I don't recall um, which one is canon or if they are or whatever. Mm, okay. I, I'm really surprised. I didn't know about this, but I haven't seen. Uh, the actual, because I re I do recall that they released uh, uh, gameplay videos. Uh, they were showing off the comp like the in-game commentary that they have, that the new mode that they have for the game. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't know that they actually gave Ryu some new moves. They actually gave him new attacks by the looks of it. I'm very glad to see that because mm -hmm. it's been just a uh, it tops maybe four moves, <laughs> special moves. Yeah. It's he's always just been fireball, uh, dragon punch, and and uh, hurricane kick. <laughs> yeah. For the most part, so it's nice to see that they are giving him uh, more stuff to use. True. This is this is nice. 
Although I don't know if I don't know if this uh um oh never mind. I was about to talk about his kick, but I don't think they were talking about his kick in the article. But all right, let's uh. So, so one thing. Yeah. A, a very side thing. Uh huh. I know in Street Fighter Five they had G. I want to know in this game since it is. I'm getting third strike vibes. Uh huh. I want to know what the connection between G and Q is. Hey, yeah, you. That, that is something that I thought about as soon as I saw um, G, because he he does have moves that Q uses, mm -hmm. um, which is crazy. He even has that costume, so mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't be surprised that I, I wouldn't be surprised that in this game we get another letter character. It, it might not be the same ones, but I wouldn't be surprised that there would be at least one character with a letter. <laughs> Just one letter character. <laughs> well, what letter would you guys want if it was up to you? You know, fucking something cool like Z. <laughs> fucking, uh, something, I don't know. As long as the character has something fucking cool and different, they can name it whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> Z. Right. No, I would like to see something like Akuma and Shinakuma, where G turns into Q or some shit like that. In some weird fucking uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I I would be. I, I thought about that too. I would be pleasantly surprised if that were, there were the transformation, but that would. Be Oh no, I think you cut out, man. Come back to us. Who? Oh, you're back. You're good. You were saying? Pleasantly surprised about a transformation? Oh, I would be pleasantly surprised that uh, if they gave them a transformation like uh, G turns the key or some weird shit like that. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting ideas. Alright, Chun Li. Uh, a former agent from the ICPO. International Criminal Police Organization. She now looks after Lee Fen, a victim of the Black Moon incident from Street Fighter V. With Shadow Lu now fallen, Chun Li teaches Kung Fu classes and has become a beloved member of the local community. Ooh. Like the legend she is, Chun Li also has new moves in Street Fighter VI. During Tenchou kicks, Chun Li rises into the air with a flurry of kicks, which is useful for countering an opponent's jump attack or to close out combos. She also has a new unique move called Serenity Stream, which sees herself positioning, which sees her positioning herself close to the ground during this stance. She leaves each normal attack button produces different attacks. Thoughts? Yeah, I saw I saw some of those stances. Uh, at least one of them looks very similar to uh, her uh, crouching position in uh, Third Strike. Uh -huh. But Chun Li. Um, she only looks good uh, other than the fact you know fucking those the thighs and whatever it's... she looks a hell of a lot better design uh, than I've seen her in past games mm -hmm. she and and you know this might not be politically correct or whatever you want to call it oh, but oh. she actually she actually looks like you know she looks Chinese. She doesn't look like an Americanized version of what we would assume her to look like. Interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, at least it's way better than her design in, in Marvel's Capcom Infinite. <laughs> yeah, they... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just glad that they did not fuck her up like they did in my name. Hey, they, they went in and, and tried to fix it, right? <laughs> they, they, they did fix it. They did. But when that story trailer came out, <laughs> that yeah. some things were rough looking. Yeah. That game was still rough looking. Yeah. I, yeah. Those facial expressions were, uh, they were a little scary. Uh, like, in motion, you won't be able to see that. But, like, when when if you're going to make a story mode... Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to make a story mode <laughs> in one of your fighting games, and you're going to have scenes with the characters, at least make them look good, because that's all we're going to see, and that's all we're going to talk about. Yeah. 
Well, <laughs> um, uh, I'm looking at this uh, tensile kick stuff. I mean, that's that's pretty well. It pretty much used. I mean, I don't think that's a move that's new. I mean, I've seen that before in the versus series, unless my memory is failing me and it looks and works differently. But this is this is basically the tensile kick that she has. She kind of like spins around in the air with her leg up and just like kicks you like. I don't know. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Um, it, it might be new to the core Street Fighter series, because I mean, I, I I'm not too familiar with Chun Li. I know that she changes a lot depending on which, like whether it's in the Versus series or the you know S N K series. Uh huh. Um, she does change quite a bit. Uh, when it comes to her moves. Yeah. But the thing the thing is that she had she had that in uh in S F four. Like that same um Yeah. Yeah, it was, she had an S F four. Um Yeah, interesting. Thoughts Lewis. Chen Li. Uh, um, she's Chen yeah. <laughs> That's yes. all I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, I, I I don't know if you guys have noticed in the Again, um, uh, you know, I'm a dude, so I notice these things. Uh -huh. um, in the trailer, uh, when she's... Have you guys ever seen the trailer slow down? No. The animation... Just going back to the RE engine and how everything's run. If you slow down the trailers, everything still looks... There's so many frames of animation. And, and I was telling... I was telling this to Jesse the other day because me and Jesse saw this yeah. when it when it was coming out. Um, it looks like they gave physics to her actual leg muscles. When you see her in action, mm -hmm. you can see that that they the like almost the whole character model has physics everywhere. The same way how Ryu also has. Uh, physics uh, when it comes to his arms and things like that. It's just crazy to see that they, they're they going down to the very minute detail. Mm -hmm. Speaking details. Yeah, to make these characters you know, come to life more than I've ever seen them. Like, even in the picture that we see right here and in the post, these guys have more varied expressions than I've ever seen them. Ryu looks like he's actually feeling somewhat of the blast when it's making con when it's about to make contact with Chun Li, and it's a different expression that what he has when the Hadouken actually hits uh, Chun Li and forces hmm. her back. So there's like multiple expressions going on here, which is very nice to see. Dang. Yeah, I mean from the trailer, I mean. We've seen that they're, it's very evident they're doing an old school versus new school type, you know, beat. So it's, you know, very smart. You know, the biggest characters everyone knows are Ryu and Chun-Li. Yeah. People know Chun-Li more than, than they know Ken at this point. Whoa. Yeah, uh, I, that's, that's uh, uh, I, well, I would agree with that. <clears throat> So, I mean, I think they're the perfect representatives of the, you know, the, the franchise. So, you know, and Luke, it seems like he's being the new face of, like, the newer school. Yeah. And uh, the, the new guy, what is it, Jamie? I feel like he's going to be the Ken to the the new Ryu. Yeah. Uh, I could see, I could see that. Um, Rambo, if you want, just, uh, so we can talk so we can talk about Luke. Yeah. Okay. Can you go into his little uh, little bio right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So Luke, uh, Lucas, <laughs> Luke uses his background as a contractor for a private military company to teach mixed martial arts. He spends his days off eating junk food, playing video games, and challenging opponents to a good old fight. Nevertheless, he always has victory in his sights. Luke's DDT is a powerful throw activated after the first hit of an overdrive slash knuckle. And is useful for dishing out extra damage. His fatal shot fires an additional shockwave after an OD sandblast to secure more damage after trading projectiles. Okay. So, Luke, 
the one thing I will say right off the bat is I am glad they changed his design <laughs> from Street Fighter V to this. Ha! Huh. <laughs> this, this, this character model, it, I would rather play a Luke now that I see him, how he's going to look later on. Uh -huh. Bec I don't know, something about his model in Street Fighter V looked fucking janky. <laughs> it looked off. It was the hair. I think the hair, probably. I think, yeah, the he's hair had a lot to I mean, he's got way too many, like, star tattoos. Yeah. I mean, he looks better now. Yeah. Uh, fucking, when he first came out, all the, you know, he, I think he was OP, like, way too strong. Hmm. Um, but, I mean, his redesign definitely looks way better. Yeah. I feel, I mean, he, his character is over the top, but... I didn't hate him in this trailer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm waiting to see how he's portrayed. And, because, look, they're clearly making Luke the I, what, the main protagonist or whatever, the main guy for Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter 6. Yeah. Here's the thing. They've tried making different characters as the main heroes for the respective games. They did it with Alex for Street Fighter 3. And they did it. Uh, they did it for Abel in Street Fighter Four. At least from my knowledge, he was supposed to be like the guy in in that game. Uh huh. They've barely they've barely gone back to Alex much. And Abel, who the fuck knows <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> Abel's doing? <laughs> Abel's stuck in the shadow realm. Yeah. So I I hope. They do, if they're going, if they're still going down the same path of having different hero characters, I just hope they actually do look justice. I don't want him to be a one-dimensional, like, fucking, you know, whatever you want to call his style of fucking character. But I don't want him to be one-dimensional. I want there to be, you know, if they're going for the story mode, there to be character development, things like that. Uh-huh. And if they're going to make him the hero character for this game, it needs to be memorable. It needs to be like, I, I need to be able to remember like things about this character later down in the road. Mm. Because they, they try doing the same thing. It, it, I don't know if you guys knew, but in, when Street Fighter 3 was being uh, made, they weren't gonna have any of the old school characters, uh, specifically uh, Ryu, Ken, and Chun Li. Yeah. They weren't even gonna be in the game. Uh, Alex was supposed to be, you know, the the headliner, but people did not take to that kindly. <laughs> I guess when when there was in development or whatever, and they needed they needed to add, you know, uh, Ryu and Ken and Chun Li. I mean it. They, these characters are still in this game, but Luke has a lot to, like, big-ass boots to fill in if, if they want to turn him into, a, you know, the main character of this game. Yeah. I think one of the ways they could do that is just keep on actually, like, reinforcing or bringing back, like, the characters are trying to... Um, cement in the story like with more importance just keep on bringing them back in the story like focus on them yeah. that's <clears throat> I, I feel like luke might be the because it going into the story mode it looks like it's a create your own character it looks like they will have a character creator um in the trailer uh that we saw uh the guy wearing the hoodie uh, running around uh Metro City, or whatever. Uh, there's a moment where he, where he uh, greets another character, and he had a backpack on. Mm. And for for a few frames, like I don't, I think it's a, it might be even a single frame. It says fight, so it looks like you create your own character, and you can go up against other uh, other players' cre uh, created characters. Mm. 
they they can very this is just a, it looks like it's heading down that way mm -hmm. luke might be the teacher character for your creative character like for your main story character mm -hmm. luke might be the teacher or whatever or the the person guiding you through like what you need to do your missions or whatever you want to play sensei he, like he, will, he will be the teacher hmm or it could so be that's, that's right. the vibe i get yeah, I mean, so here's. Yeah, go ahead, man. So I, I think, I mean, they're they're doing that whole online lobby. Yeah. Whole, I, I think that's a smart idea. I mean, all those little hubs and all that. <clears throat> I would like to see Street Fighter Four, uh, Street Fighter Six, you know, basically versus online modes, whatever, yeah. and then have a character slot like you know Smash Ultimate. Where you can use your me, I yeah. think that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, Lewis, <laughs> a little bit side off, uh, off topic, but did you get any PlayStation Home vibes when you saw that lobby? Uh, Do you remember PlayStation Home? I rem <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I sunk too many hours into PlayStation Home, <laughs> yeah. and I know if I could bring it back, if Sony could bring it back, I will fucking. I would re-download it. I know people are still hosting lobbies because yeah. of how memorable it was. So I sunk too many hours into a PlayStation Home. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, I, I guess some vibes from it. Yeah. Because, I mean, you create your own character, you customize him. I would assume you could customize him. Okay. And I would like to see emotes put in, you know, yeah. all kinds of stuff. And, make it so that you can either chill and talk to people and then you know pick up kind of like in the old school arcade you know yeah. era mm -hmm. but virtual yeah where you can hang out go to the arcade you know and then play some you know pickup games yeah yeah I, I, like i you know i i extremely doubt that, that they're going for the playstation home vibe for this but it, it just it, it did bring up the memory of PlayStation Home, like, seeing that lobby and whatever, like, you know. It, it, it's just one of those thoughts that just popped in my head when I saw the, uh, the fighting hub or whatever they want to call it. So I hope they keep that chill music, like... <laughs> yeah, that, that music was pretty good. It was good. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I hope they do something like that where you can use your own creative character, kind of like Smash Ultimate, where even people who are on the pro level, they'll use their me, you know, character. Yeah. And on a side note, you know, um, oh, never mind, I forgot what I was going to say, but, yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, I think all, all I want to add is, uh, I don't, uh, do you guys remember um, Luke's original game, that the one that it was supposed to come out in but never came out? That obscure, no. that canceled. Well, he the 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 char this character himself, like he was supposed to have his own <clears throat> his own fighting game, like with Strider. I think Strider was in there. Really? Yeah. Um, I gotta look into that. That's that's interesting. Yeah. So he had a he had like a he had like a like a model already, like concept art, like laid out. I I was hoping he would look like that. So when he came out in his SF five, I'm like, who's this guy? I mean, this, I wasn't expecting this, you know. I was expecting the cool looking, you know, Dante DMC vibe looking dude, but yeah, it it would be nice to see that costume in SF six. I I would okay, say. Okay, so I remember what I was gonna say. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so when I first saw Luke, you know, you get the whole MMA cocky douchey bro vibes. Yeah. One thing I hope they do with the story is basically continue that make basically make you hate him <laughs> and then he meets ryu and then ryu humbles him beats uh, him yeah and <laughs> wants him and then um, I, I think that's how they can make you um start to like him is yeah. if they put him on that you know character arc where he loses to like someone like ryu yeah and then just, you know, it sends them on a whole character development thing. And, I mean, yeah. they could bring it back in future games. 
I could definitely see that, yeah. Huh. It just humbled by me. All right, uh, next character, Jamie, is a self-styled Chinatown peacekeeper who aspires to walk in the footsteps of Yun and Yang, the twin dragons. An expert dancer, Jamie places justice and friendship above all else, defending his town with martial arts. The Devil Inside is Jamie's signature move where he takes a swig out of his key unleashing drink to raise his drink level where higher levels unlock additional moves and it changes his appearance. Mm. Uh, Jamie can use Luminous Dive Kick at drink level plus one, or level one, uh, where he extends his leg after a forward jump and quickly drops to the ground. Another special move is Bakugai, which can be used at drink level two, where Jamie slides along the ground in a series of rotating upside down kicks. This move does heavy damage and is useful when performing combos against opponents that have left themselves wide open. Thoughts, Jamie? Um, Jamie looks very crazy, very interesting. His animations out of everyone that I've seen so far, his animations are fucking insane. <laughs> Especially if you were to slow down the video, you could see, like, they they went the extra mile for this character. Whoa. He does look interesting. He, he does have that air of being cocky, um, which will be interesting to see uh, um, his story. Especially since um, what his relation is to uh, Yun and Yang. Especially since those two are nephews to Chun Li. So there might be a whole thing that goes on there. Oh. Um, but his his moves, from what I saw, do look pretty, pretty cool. Um, I didn't know about the... I guess they're giving him a drink level. Mm. So... Um, that uh, these type of mechanics, you know, um, I I don't know how best to describe them, but there is these characters where you, where you have to do kind of uh, like more or less, it's not the right word, but uh -huh. chores, uh -huh. of like to level up your character in a sense. Yeah, and that's it. it always adds a, a, another layer, a, another layer to uh, your play style and things like that, and it's going to be very interesting to see. Um, I'm interested in seeing a professional uh, tournament player how they're gonna use uh, uh, Jamie when uh, when playing. Yeah, for sure. The um, the drink level. I'm, I'm wondering how if it's gonna be like uh, or like the speed of which you know it's gonna like to activate. Say if it's gonna take a while for him to do it, or if he can just do it and it comes out. Or, I mean, if like if it's going to be like optimal, I guess, to kind of get a knockdown first and then do like your drink level so you can yeah. get it off safely, that's going to be interesting. Something else, though, it says it changes his appearance. And the first thing I thought about was uh, was Dante going in, in a devil trigger. <laughs> but although that would be cool to see for this guy, doing some sort of like, you know, demon mode type of thing, it's probably, he's just going to look like, like more and more wasted. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Well, I mean, look, uh, I, it might be just me, but looking at this picture here on, on the website huh. where we're getting this information from, mm. he does look a little bit redder than, than initially. Oh. So I don't know if he changed his colors. And it might be just me, but I'm looking at his face. You can't see much. Because of the particle effects, the wind, and all that stuff. Yeah. But his eyes look like they're sunken in. It's almost look. It almost looks like I'm looking into a skull. Ooh. But I'm not sure if that's just my mind trying to make up like this image since I can't see it clearly because there's so much in the way. Yeah. But it's just something that just strikes out to me looking at this picture right now. Oh. So when I first saw Jamie for a split second, I'm like, what the heck? Did they bring Fong back? <laughs> like, that's my first initial. And then, boom, I saw who he was clearly. And uh, now that you mentioned, you know, he's somehow, you know, he, he's being taught or related to Yun and Yang. That, yeah. that to me, I can see that now. So yeah. I, I personally think that they're going to do with his drink meter is you know when he's not drunk he's 
going to fight like Yun and Yang more, you know, polished because you see some of those like down. Oh, and, that's interesting. That is very interesting. You know, you see, he, he looks more polished. You see some of those yeah. like on uh, lunges. But I, I think when he gets drunk, he's going to be like Rock Lee from Naruto, where he's like break dancing, more loose. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, like I, I feel like that's what they're going to do. Yeah, that, that's a very that's a very good call. That's a very good one. Um, and going a little bit off topic. Yeah, uh, dude, they fucked up. Fucking, I, I know it's not Hugo, but I don't know if it's it's on his other name is Andre or whatever. But this Hugo knockoff in the back, damn, they fucked it up. <laughs> He looks fucking ugly. <laughs> so, so I think Hugo isn't he like part of a set where there's like three brothers or something like that, yeah. and they each have a name and they're they're all from uh fucking Final West, yeah Final Fight. So I think yeah. there's like three brothers that you know they they're all equally as big as Hugo. Yeah, yeah I forget what their names are, but I, I think that's who that might be like yeah, a cult like, movie. I know I saw Hugo somewhere in the in the trailer. There's a, like a poster for him. And he looks like how he's supposed to look. It's just it just this guy's model just stuck stuck out so much to me. He looks so weird. I hope with this whole you know street urban you know the vibe they bring back some Final Fight characters. You know yeah. I would like to see Haggard in here. I, I, I could think see cool. I could see him being in here, and I could also see Guy. Yeah, um, guy, maybe Cody, you know, yeah. some of these more street level characters. Yeah. You know, even some third strike characters that we haven't seen in a while, like Remy, or, you know, just, you know, we, we usually see, you know, Makoto, Dudley. We yeah. see those characters, but, you know, there's some other more disenfranchised third strike characters I'd like to see come back. I could see, I could see Remy being in this. I could see uh, Necro being in this. Yeah, Necro would be cool. As weird as as he is, he is very, very colorful, and he would fit with how they're using the colors in this game. Yeah, that could work. That could definitely work. Um, you know, I'd even like to see, um, you know, what's his name from Third Strike? He was good in Double Impact. And they, he was like the worst character. i uh, blanking so hard. He throws the basketball. Oh, Sean. yeah, Sean. There you go. Yeah. I'd like to see him come back. Yeah. Dang, this is his game. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the whole urban thing. All right, uh, let's head on over to the control systems. A modern control type for everyone. Those are worried that fighting game inputs are too complicated. We would like to introduce you to Street Fighter Six's modern control type, where a special move can be performed by combining the special move button with one directional input. Furthermore, simple combos can be performed by holding down the assist button and continuously pressing some of the attack buttons. Take a look at the chart below to see how much easier it is to perform your character's flashiest attacks including drive system moves as you can also see the con classic control type is still available for the more seasoned players feel free to switch between the two um uh, when i first saw the trailer and, or or when i first heard about there being uh simplified inputs i was like what are they gonna make it like all across the board or like are we losing the six buttons six punches uh, I'm glad to see that's not the case, right? Because that's um, uh, I, have a, I have just by looking at the gameplay and you know, putting so much time into SF5, I have a feeling it's it's gonna the way you control your characters and the way like combos feel, it's gonna be um, very very similar, if not the same. Um, but I'm also like I said, I'm also happy to see that it's not gonna be. You're still gonna have your your option to switch um, to use like the six button layouts instead of just making it like universal. Oh, we're just using like this new modern control type. But it's it's I also think it's kind of funny that they it, it kind of um it kind of seems like the they're they're trying to take like credit for or, or 
or introducing something new to like the um like the fighting game scene by calling it oh we would like to introduce you to sf6's modern control type when i mean it's kind of it kind of feels like they're trying to say oh with you know we're we're doing this for the first time and no one's ever done it but i mean grand blue fantasy versus pretty much pioneered this um but yeah, and even, uh, I mean, Dragon Ball Fighters, they have, you know, your simple auto combos. So right. I think, you know, that's kind of how you get entry-level people to come in. I mean, they feel good doing a combo, but right. also giving, you know, pro players or seasoned players, you know, option to revert back to, you know, a more, you know, uh, combo-heavy, you know, gameplay style. Yeah. Yeah, cause at, at, at the end of the day, uh, it's good to have options. It, it's for for being a player. It, it's always good to have options. You can choose either or. And this, it, of course, each each scheme or each control scheme that they have here has its own pros and cons. Mm -hmm. um, this a modern control type. It it. it I could see how everything would be easy to do a combo. Uh, if you guys look at the picture, it's hold down R2 and press either square, X, or circle uh, repeatedly to get a combo. Uh -huh. it, it, that That is a, is a pro. Some of the combos are going to be easy. But we have to remember that these are the assisted combos. So they're, you, you only get one, two, three. Mm -hmm. This is just uh, saying it uh, in the scenario that you can't interchange like hold on to R2, press square, then X, 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 or whatever the case may be. Mm. Um, the, the con to this is that you're not going to have your full tool set available to you. You're not going to have all your combo routes available to you compared to if you had the classic control type. Right. You're not gonna have complete control over over your character. Uh -huh. There there are situations where, for example, um, just throwing it out there, you need to do uh, uh, a medium a medium kick. Uh -huh. You know, for pokey, medium kick goes under fireball and and so forth. It. Oh, let's just say, uh, for the sake of argument, that. Of course, you can't get to it because, you know, it's just you have no medium kick button. Right. So it might be hidden somewhere in this assisted combo route, but um, you're not gonna have total control of your character. That's the uh, that's a, that's the con over here on the on the class control type. You have all six buttons. You have everything available to you. However. If you want to get good, you got to put it into practice. You got to put in, like, you got to remember your, your routes, mm -hmm. how to set up your opponent to get into that, in, into that, uh, into that situation that you want to be in. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the cons, I mean, things are not going to be as easy. I know all three of us here at one point have tried to do one input for a fireball and something else comes out. You know, it's happened to all of us. Mm -hmm. um, but at, at going back to the modern route, this reminds me a lot of Smash Brothers, where you have one dedicated special button, and you press the button and a direction to get a certain move. And by the looks of it, uh, the special button backwards is the hurricane kick, the special button forward is... Uh, the shoryuken and the special button down, at least for uh, for Ryu, is the the donkey kick. Uh, uh. Uh, and of course, just pressing the button itself has the hodoken. It, it, it reminds me a lot of of Smash Brothers, and and it, I know you we've played Smash Brothers to high heavens and a, a lot, right? <laughs> yeah. It, all the characters play this. All the characters, how the character you do the moves and everything is the same. You have the special button, the attack button, whatever. But 
that's your surface level. If you want to get good, you got to like dive deep into that game to figure out what can I do, you know, to set this character up or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's just it's it's just nice to have the option. It's nice to see that they do care about the casual player and they do care about the tournament level player. And uh-huh. there is a nice in between. Like, you know, a- anybody can just hop on and play against the tournament. Uh, uh, I mean, they're going to have a hard time regardless because they're a tournament level player. But, uh-huh. you know, it's as it, they're trying to make it ex- as accessible uh, like uh, Smash Brothers. Mm hmm. Yeah, definitely seeing that uh, forward B special move thing. Did not uh, did not think of that the first time. Definitely see that. Yeah. Um, I want to start moving a little bit uh, quicker. So if, if we we'll just go by like topic after I read it, and then we'll have uh, one of you guys yeah. weigh in, and then that way we can get through this and still have some time for uh, the free roam. Um, all right. So model control type, uh, Lewis. I'm not. Um, ask you for your thoughts for this one. A battle system built for creativity. Street Fighter VI marks the debut of the new drive system, which includes both new and familiar features that will test your creativity. The drive system allows you to use five different techniques to enhance your offense and defense. Using these techniques will deplete the drive gauge, which consists of six drive stocks. Wow. Uh, Some techniques use more stocks than others, while the drive gauge does replenish over time. If you happen to run out, you'll be temporarily put up in a vulnerable state called burnout. During burnout, if your opponent hits you with the drive impact in the corner of the stage and makes your back slam against the wall, you'll be stunned. That's right, stun works differently in Street Fighter VI. Take a look at the image below for a list of the five techniques, how many drive stocks they cost or replenish, and the controls to activate them. How do you feel about this, Lewis? So, I mean, that just adds, you know, an extra layer. Th- this, to me, this little system is basically, you know, their, you know, that extra level to, you know, the mechanics, you know, like in Third Strike or any of those other games, you know, there's like EX moves, parries, mm-hmm. like there's always that little extra dimension that you can use, that you have to be aware of at all times, you know, basically to mix up, you know, the gameplay, because everyone's going to be expecting, you know, short you know, counters, you know, the cross-ups, all of that. Right. This just adds a little extra, you know, that little extra spice to, you know, diversify the gameplay. Hmm. Uh, real yeah, quick. I think it'll be pretty interesting to see. Yeah, well, I just read this uh, not too long ago. A little, a little upset, uh, upset about it, the, that the drive parry actually costs meter, so it's not like a part of the, the core system like it wasn't third strike. That's uh, a little bit of a letdown, but I mean, yeah. The, the thing I see with the, the drive parry, um, it, it it looks like you, it continuously drains. So you hold on the button and you'll parry something. Uh-huh. However, it's going to be draining. I, I assume the rate of it draining is pretty fast. Mm. Um, that incent that gives you that gives the player the incentive to do it right at the moment of attack. Don't just hold it down. You it gives the player a reason to learn when exactly to use this move. Don't be holding it down, or else you're going to be in in, in problems later on. I, I like all I like the drive system because it seems to take every every good aspect for, uh, like a lot of good aspects from the rest of the games uh-huh. all into one. You have your focus attacks from Street Fighter Four, your parries from Street Fighter Three, the the EX moves, and now they add the the rushes and the uh, and the even the reversals, which is to me it sounds like it's the alpha counters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. And, and, I mean, this drive system, I think it's fucking stylized, to be honest. It, it looks good when it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah when, when you're executing it, it's not just functional, it looks good. Yeah. It, it, it does it, it does look 
fantastic, the colors and everything. And again, this gives you the player a reason to use these moves. You want to be flashy, you want to be cool. You know, it gives you a reason to do this. Right. Mm, dry. All right. Uh, next part. Street Fighter's first ever reveal or real-time commentary feature br br brings the hype. Uh, let's announce another new feature while we're at it: the real-time commentary feature. A few well-known fighting game community commentators and notable faces are lending their voices to be featured in Street Fighter VI. They will offer dynamic real-time commentary as your matches go on, and provide easy-to-understand explanations about gameplay. The real-time commentary feature will also support subtitles in 13 languages for more accessibility. The first commentators to hype up your matches, commentators to hype up your matches are Jeremy, Vicious Lopez, and Aru. We'll unveil more commentators at a later date. Um, I, at first I thought it was it was a cool, like, nice thing, but now I'm just like, I don't know if you, I don't know if this was a, a good, you know, um. A good way to spend your resources on this. I'm not sure I particularly care now. I thought it was cool. I thought it was a good idea, but now I'm just like, uh, maybe you could have done something else with that. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that this is just something on the side for those who are interested in mimicking that, that watching a tournament gameplay. Mm. Um, it. I mean it. It. It gives an option for someone who actually enjoys that. Mm -hmm. um, I will say this. Uh, I will, for example, you, you guys already know I watch you maximally, dude. Mm -hmm. I like watching uh, Matt McMuscles and, and those guys. I would be very happy to see them in this mode if they do get them on to do this commentator stuff. Mm -hmm. It would be just interesting. It reminds me of, I don't know if you guys remember playing. Uh, SmackDown versus Raw, when you had like JR doing the commentary still, even though it's not like <laughs> you're watching the TV episodes. But it just reminded me of that. It, it's just a, a little, uh, a nice little side note for those who enjoy this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be using it, but you know, someone will. <laughs> so it's a nice little, um, you know, substance level stuff. I mean, I watch tons of, you know, street fighting game streamers, you know, from Justin Wong. If I want to watch, you know, versus series stuff, uh, you know, I'll watch, you know, Matt McMuscles. If I want to see like some MKX stuff or, you know, uh, bargain bin fighting games from, you know, back in the day. So it, it's just, it's more for like, you know, those call outs for people who watch streamers or, you know, YouTube and all that. Uh huh. Hmm. I see that. All right. Well, uh, moving on to the new foundation. Street Fighter Six contains three foundational pillars, each with multiple features or additional modes under them. In Fighting Ground, you will get the classic and upgraded fighting game experience, complete with the core modes you expect. The other two pillars are exciting new additions to the series. World Tour is a single-player immersive story mode that pushes the boundaries of what a fighting game is and allows you to leave your own legacy within Street Fighter 6 with your player avatar. Uh, Battle Hub, which was briefly shown at the end of announced trailer, <laughs> will also offer players new and unique ways to engage and communicate. Both World Tour and Battle Hub will require a deeper dive in the future, so keep an eye out. Hmm. I mean... I mean, World Tour has been done before. I wouldn't say it's like completely new, but it does certainly seem that they're trying something new with it, right? With this game. Yeah. Um, I. I just hope that. I'm. I. I'll be honest. I'm interested in the World Tour. I'm very interested in seeing what they do. Because it's it's fucking Capcom. You're gonna see a lot of different like things from other games in here. Um, I just hope it's actually fleshed out. I hope it's interesting, and there's actually substance to it. Uh, uh, a little bit more. 
I wanted to. I don't want it to be like Street Fighter Five, uh, where you, at least from what I remember, uh -huh. it, it it just the story, hearing the story, hearing the characters, then it's fight, then the story. I like being able to roam around and see everything, and and hopefully they do, they do it like that. Hmm. Hmm. And and when it comes to the battle hub, I hope it's similar to how they did it for Guilty Gear, because I remember Guilty Gear. Uh, I forget which one it was. <laughs> it, it wasn't Strive, but the other one where you walk up to the little arcade machine. Oh to, yeah. To play against a player, to mimic that feeling of being in an arcade, since those are becoming a rarity nowadays. Yeah. And <clears throat> this is just something like very, very, you know, cherry on top. It, just because Daniel said something about you walk up to an arcade cabinet, you you know, you'll play against somebody. I would like to, you know, just crossing my fingers, to keep, you know, since they are, you know, there's an absence of all these older games. Uh -huh. uh, I would like some mode where you can play, you know, little pickup games for you know if it is a hub you know very old games like street fighter 2 yeah you know like little pickup matches you know and you can use different versions you know like say you prefer champion edition or ultra you yeah. know and and do a mix match of different you know it's one game but you can choose your version of you know the, whatever character you want to use yeah. <clears throat> you know, just like a little side mode that you could do online. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I hope, I hope it's something like that. All right, let me get in this last little tidbit and then let us begin the free roam with the time that we have. Fighting ground. This isn't your. This isn't only your moment. Your fight. It's your creativity, your ambition, your drive. Ha! <laughs> your drive. And your legacy. We have so much more to share in the future leading up to the release. SF6 will be available in 2023 on PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, and S, and PC. Hmm. Alright. Well, that was uh, very interesting. Free Rome. Free Rome. What? Okay, so. Because this is going to be something that everyone's going to be talking about. We might as well get into it, I feel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go there. Um, so, uh, the last 48 hours or so has been kind of crazy. Um, because apparently the word on the street is that basically a large number of the characters have been revealed of who's going to be in the game. Yeah. Um, just because I'm trying to find the original post, but I cannot find it anymore. Oh. Um, I will send this link to you guys. Uh, this is what I'm looking at right now. So, if you guys were to click on that link, um, down... Further down, you will see concept art of the characters that have so far been revealed to be in the game. What? I don't know if you guys have seen this list. I have not. Um, but let me know once you see the picture. Yeah. Because there will there will be some interesting characters. <laughs> okay, I am in there. Um. <laughs> Honda reminds me of Jin. Tekken, uh, <laughs> Marissa, Marissa Tomain, <laughs> Marissa Tomain, uh, Mimi. Okay. Oh. So you see, you uh, you guys see those. Let me send you this little tidbit. And keep in mind, so far these leaks have been, uh. I sent you guys an image 
right now on uh, on Discord. They're uh -huh. still going by nationality. Oh, dang. So, um, it, it's interesting to see. Uh, Lewis, going back to what we were talking about, about letter characters, do you see the JP one? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say a JP, but he kind of reminds me of, uh, like, like a almost like an SNK character to be honest. He looks a lot like Rural. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna, you know, without saying it, but yeah, he looks like an SNK character, almost like Rugal, very fancy. But then again, you know, Q. I mean, they were dressed up, so okay. I mean, who knows? Uh, so the story behind this is that um, a leaker leaked this, all this stuff three months before, at least from the, from what I remember, uh, leaked this, uh, uh, some information before, uh, not necessarily the concept art, but what exactly was Street Fighter Six going to be about, um, uh, leaked it, uh, three months before the release of the trailer. Uh -huh. the, re the trailer gets released and now the concept art got released. Um, uh, so far, all, I mean, to me, it sounds like somebody with very much within the company leaked this. Um, the problem is this, mm -hmm. these, uh, Capcom, um, they've been on a good one getting Street Fighter V up and running and, and, uh, getting this game up and running. Yeah. It, the marketing team basically have had their whole plans blown up right in their face with the release of all this information. Yeah. Um, Capcom twit uh, the Capcom uh, Twitter accounts have acknowledged that this information is out, and and they're they're saying that they will just continue on and make the best of it. So. It all, <clears throat> at least in my view, it, it basically confirms that this information's pretty legit. These designs might not be the final designs that um, that uh, will probably be in the final product. Uh -huh. But it, it gives an idea of where these characters are going. Um, oh. On top of the fact that actual footage was released of some gameplay. Uh, Cammy doing one of her special supers. She's in her regular costume, um, the uh, green bodysuit, and this one where she's wearing pants and a jacket. Uh huh. Um, something to uh, to also note. Um, oh, what was I about to say? Yeah, this 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 blew a hole in their marketing plans how it and uh, the leaker yeah there we go the leaker who released the information like months ago was the same leaker who leaked the information about Marvel's Capcom, Capcom Infinite's uh, roster oh. the difference between these two situations is that um, when the uh, infinite situation happened and people found out that these that those were the characters that they were going to get in that game mm -hmm. it pissed everyone off <laughs> okay. it, it pissed everyone off because you find out that these characters not only are not the ones that people wanted we got no X-Men nothing like that and uh -huh. it was a pretty uh, pretty abysmal amount compared to even more ultimate wars can come through mm -hmm. however with this one uh with the leaks coming out right now um so far from what i could gather on twitter because i i've been following all this stuff everyone on uh, like a lot of people on twitter have have received this with very positive feedback so far they've loved the designs for the characters mm -hmm. Um, for the most part, they they like they. I personally like how these characters look. These characters look pretty cool. They look very colorful, which still coincides with what 
they're going for. Mm -hmm. But we still have those weird, freaky characters. If you guys look at the very bottom, we have this lady that has fucking knives for her fingers. Like, yeah. They're still they're, we still have these weird characters, and I'm all for that. And and going back to the Capcom Twitter, they've acknowledged that yes, all this has been uh, leaked. However, they do appreciate the positive feedback they've gotten for the characters that have been revealed. Not to say that there's going to be different ones later down on the road. Uh -huh. Who knows? But but yeah, that, that has been the situation with Street Fighter Six and the leaks that have been going on. Dang. Well, yeah. I, I mean, the, those character designs look pretty cool. Yeah. You know, there's one that obviously... I think at the bottom, Lily, that looks like, you know, be related to T-Hawk. Yeah, people people have said the same thing. Ooh. Um, you know, that Marissa looks kind of like Alex or some type of wrestler, grappler hybrid. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the character design is still pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, our Rambo. Yeah. Um, uh, also, too, uh, I might as well mention this. Uh-huh. Um, if I don't know how the how your episode uh, how this episode is gonna go up if you're gonna have footage, mm. um, I would be. There's a reason why um, not a lot of streamers have been posting these pictures up on their streams. Uh -huh. Is because Capcom in the past has sent out DMCA's uh -huh. against leaks. Yeah. So when you upload this to wherever mm -hmm. you uploaded, yeah. If you include the images, just be careful because mm -hmm. I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna copyright strike you or right. whatever. Right. But just take that as uh, take that as a, a as a precautionary thing because. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I plan yeah. on. Uh, I don't. I don't plan on using anything else except for some random video game footage of I don't know what the heck. Yeah. So. so for those, for anybody that's listening to this right now, um, you you could easily Google this Street Fighter Six leaks and uh, look it up for yourself. But anybody who's who's doing any kind of this stuff, streaming or whatever, just be careful on putting putting these pictures up because I'm not sure, but I think they've already done a couple of them. So you guys don't want that, <laughs> especially if you're a streamer. Oh, you guys don't want that kind of attention. Oh, no. Dang. Uh, I'm really liking this this Mimi and this Aki, man. Those were probably like the two that uh, stood out to me out of all these guys. Um, I like I like Ryu's design, of course. Ken's design looks fucking crazy. He reminds me of Terry. And he, he looks like he's pretty fucking like kind of like evil looking in a sense hmm interesting so I hope they, they they might even do like uh since it, it seems like uh, Ryu has already overcome the 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 evilness within him maybe it's Ken's turn to go through the same thing so we might even see violent Ken Ooh. since he, he's the only game he's ever been officially in a Capcom like game yeah. Is Ultimate Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Or Ultra Street Fighter 2. Uh -huh. um, Zangief looks pretty insane. He, he looks like a pretty. He's still a wrestler. Uh, e Honda's design looks pretty cool. Uh, I like Kami's design. She. Like. It, it, she looks pretty cool. Um, DJ. I'm. Not, I'm <laughs> this is. Of course. This, this is with a grain of salt. This uh -huh. might not be real at the end of the day. Uh -huh. I change plans. Uh -huh. I'm shocked to see DJ in another fucking Street Fighter game. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he has better moves. Hopefully he's crazier, but we'll see. It's nice to see Rashid back. I like his newer design. Jury looks pretty cool. Hmm. Ed looks... Uh, I mean, I never played him much. He looks better i think <laughs> akuma looks insane as always um marissa looks insane i like her design 
Hmm. Jamie, uh, Mimi, uh, she reminds me of a female Abel. Hmm. Uh, Lily, uh, I do see her being related to T-Hawk. I'm very interested in seeing JP. Uh, Kimberly looks pretty cool, and that whoever, th I can't see her name. It's Aki. Uh, A-K-I. Aki. She looks crazy. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I hope... I hope they do it justice. I hope... I hope these characters are fucking crazy. They're... They're cool. Mm. But that's what's been... That's... That has been pretty much... The leak situation has pretty much... Been the... The very... Uh, subject that a lot of people are talking about. Right. Dang. Yeah, I didn't even know about this. Uh, any thoughts on this roster, Lewis, before we wrap this up? Um... So far, from the official ones, I, you know, I'm, I'm digging it. Mm -hmm. um, the unofficial ones, they, they, I mean, they look really cool. Mm. Um, I mean, I, I'm not too big on a lot of the legacy characters. I mean, because we see them in every single game. Right. Yeah. But, um, you know, I, I feel like maybe we could have done without them for one game. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um. You know, that those are character slots for, you know, older characters, you know, Final Fight or Third Strike characters, you know? Right. But uh, aside from that, I mean, everyone looks really cool. I think, you know, instead of Guile, I would have liked to see that Street Fighter V Nash return because that was really cool. For a different take on Charlie. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, uh, something. I, I, at least they, I, I hope they change the characters, give them a breath of fresh air. You know. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like we are about uh, done with this for today. Thank you guys for uh, chiming in with the with the commentary, uh, and uh, we shall see how this how this uh, game turns out. I'm really excited probably I, I probably will be buying it i mean why not go street fighter but yeah, I'll, yeah uh, I'll, I'll i'm trying to get strive man i'm still trying to get strive oh oh <laughs>